Is this a helicopter or a tree hopper? This Brazilian insect kills it on Halloween. Displaying balls on your head, like some kind of avant-garde hat, wearing a loon might just stop you being eaten. What has six legs and two pairs of balls? No, it's not the start of a lead joke. It's the Brazilian tree hopper, a pea-sized rainforest-dwelling insect that sports a headdress worthy of a royal wedding. The purpose of these bizarre helicopter-like orbs, actually an elaborate pronotum, an insect body segment just behind the head, is still something of a mystery. Could they be an evolved structure like a peacock's tail, used by males to show off their genetic vigor to others? Unlikely, both males and females are endowed with balls, so to speak. Could they have evolved to look like a second dummy head, which predators mistakenly aim for when attacking? A lack of observations of this happening in the wild suggests not. Instead, insect scientists suspect that the structures evolved to mimic the handiwork of a parasitic fungus called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis. This invades the bodies of ants and then bursts alien style out of them, creating similar structures sprouting from the deceased insect. So the Brazilian tree hopper is left alone because, well, no predator wants to risk accidentally eating the same fungus. Though unusual among other insects, these ornate structures are a common feature among the 3,200 species of tree hoppers and can sometimes resemble thorns, leaves, and even bird droppings. The Brazilian tree hopper, Bocidium blobular, is a species of insect belonging to the tree hopper family, Membracida. It has unusual appendages on its head. While Bacidium can be found throughout the world, they are most prevalent in Africa, North and South America, Asia and Australia. They exhibit limited movement and their primary food source is from the underside of leaves. They also exhibit hemimtabulous development. They wear a helmet of tiny hairy balls. Check out this Brazilian tree hopper. See the kaleidoscope of color shapes. Isn't this among the most outlandish insect appendages you've ever seen? The most distinctive feature of tree hoppers is the pronotum a plate-like structure in many insects that typically covers the thorax. On tree hoppers, however, the pronotum grows up and out in endless variations depending on the species. The Brazilian tree hopper is no exception. Its pronotum is impressively ornamented with tiny balls and bristly hairs that extend in a circle around its head like helicopter propellers. Wing genes may be responsible for their helmets, Scientists long pondered why the Brazilian tree hopper has this remarkable blobular helmet. It wasn't likely to be ornamentation that males used to attract a mate, because both males and females have it. One hypothesis states that it could be a decoy for predators. In 2011, a study even proposed that it could even be an extra set of wings. Other researchers refuted this last hypothesis although wing genes may be responsible for Brazilian tree hopper helmets. In 2019, a research team asserted that tree hopper helmets were not wings but simply outgrowths of the insect's thorax. However, they found that helmet growth depended on wing genes. For some reason, the pronotum was turning on certain genes otherwise used for growing wings. The precise process by which that happens remains a mystery, however, as does the reason for the helmet. Or, the helmets might mimic a fungus to ward off predators. Another hypothesis for why the Brazilian tree hopper has such unique ornamentation is that it might be intended to mimic a parasitic fungus. This deadly fungus infiltrates the bodies of ants and then pushes out of them in shapes that resemble the Brazilian tree hopper's globular helmet. Mimicking that shape might provide protection to the tree hopper, since predators want nothing to do with a killer fungus. About the size of a pea. Microphotography has made it possible to see an extraordinary degree of detail on these tiny creatures. 
These tree hoppers seem like miniature monsters. But encountering a Brazilian tree hopper in real life is a bit less exciting. They are only about five or six millimeters long, so you might need a magnifying glass to clearly see the details of its extraordinary pronotum. They are sap suckers. Tree hoppers suck sap out of plants and trees similar, in some respects, to the way mosquitoes suck blood. Tree hoppers have a mouthpiece with two sharp straw-like tubes, one that punctures a plant stem or a leaf to inject saliva, and the other to suck out the plant's phloem sap. Brazilian tree hoppers are frequently found under glory bush leaves. They feed other insects while feeding themselves. Tree hoppers can feed on a single plant repeatedly because their saliva keeps the plant from closing up the puncture site. Once they find a suitable plant, they'd often stay put for several weeks, excreting a sugar-rich substance known as honeydew as they feed. This, in turn, feeds ants and other insects, which often reciprocate by protecting tree hoppers against predators in order to defend their food source. Female Brazilian tree hoppers sit on their eggs. Female tree hoppers are fiercely protective of their offspring. They lay their eggs in the stem of their food source. Then, unlike many other insects, they sit on their eggs to shield them from predators. They also create little punctures in the plant stem so that the hatched nymphs have ready access to food. Communication. They communicate through subtle vibrations. These humming sounds don't travel through the air, but through plants. Researchers have been able to record the vibrations of some tree hopper species using a variety of highly sensitive equipment. It's believed that tree hoppers use these vibrations to alert each other to predators, attract mates, and signal a good place to feed. Diet. The nymphs feed on the underside of leaves. They are deemed sap-sucking insects because the nymph gets its nutrition from the sap of the leaves. Life cycle. Plants are essential for the Brazilian tree hopper's life cycle. There are numerous ways that these females can lay their eggs. One common method used is to lay the egg directly inside the tissue of the plant. Some females also will lay the egg on the plant's surface. This species in particular has hemimetabolous development, where they begin as an egg, growing into a nymph, reaching the adult maturation. Tailpiece. This species has very apparent globular appendages coming out of its thorax. Entomologists are still not certain about why these tree hoppers have these appendages. However, it has been proposed that the adaptation deters their predators. The Brazilian tree hopper is the creepiest, raddest insect you will ever see. Seriously, would you eat this guy? I wouldn't. That's all we have for you today, folks. Thanks for watching.